Hi everybody, uh, this is Chris from Pixelip Photographer. Right, today we're going to be looking at editing your pictures and trying to um, get rid of things that you don't want. Um, you know, we've all got them. We've got pictures where you've got like um, dust on the sensor, things where you just haven't cropped it very well. And so, you know, obviously as photographers, we should always aim to get the perfect shot in the beginning, but sometimes you just can't help it. Sometimes you do need the help from in the digital darkroom so um, we're gonna look at um, taking things out in Photoshop and um, maybe be surprised at what Photoshop can do these days if you haven't um, been using it for a while so this is a picture I took when I was um, in Thailand I had a rubbish time I hated Thailand I still hate Thailand don't know why I just do I hate it you want to buy t-shirt anyway <laughs> um, there's rubbish all of my sensor um photography wise i had a really rubbish trip um as you can see there's dust here all of my sensor and it's everywhere i really had to give the camera a thorough cleaning afterwards and you know obviously the pictures are rubbish picture as well so so what we're going to do is we're going to look at how to clean some of these things up um and i've just realized the horizon's awful as well because i can't take a straight photograph to save my life so anyway we're going to look at how to get rid of these things and the best way to to get rid of them so to start with um there are a few tools at our disposal the first one and the oldest one that's been in photoshop for many many years is the clone stamp tool which is this one here now the clone stamp tool oh that's from something else which i was playing with earlier which you'll see in a minute so the clone stamp tool, what it does is, um, if we knock it down a little bit, the brush size, which is the uh, brackets keys. Um, what it does is, if you press the um, option or alt key, what it'll do is it'll suck up an area and it'll dump it somewhere else. So for example, if we hold down the option key, I'm on a Mac, so if I hold down the option key, it goes to a target. Now if I click here, I know that this is the target area of what I want to copy. Now, if I release my uh, Alt key, you don't doesn't look like anything's happened. But if I go over here, you'll notice that there's um, it's picked up a blue color, but it's not in the palette. It's actually copying the actual image. So now I can click here, and now I can a bit of massage. And you'll notice that it's practically gone because my opacity is down to 25% here. So you can still see that there's slight um, um, blurring spots there. So let's go over that a couple of times. And there you go, the spot's gone. So that's a nice kind of easy way to, to take out um, uh, rubbish on your, on your picture. Let's go and find another one. I did see a few here. I don't know whether you guys can see this one. You see there's this roundness there so the other way of doing it is um, there's a new tool it's been around for maybe the last two um, editions of Photoshop CS4 and CS5 uh, which is called the um, spot healing brush which is exactly what this is meant to be um, you want to get rid of the spots so let's um, get rid of uh, let's make the brush size a bit bigger now you make sure that you want it on content aware on that little option there obviously you can um, uh, change your your brush hardness down if you want to um, it's totally up to you um, whoops for this one I want it somewhere in the middle so what I want to do is I want to take that area here actually you can't actually see it can you so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a fake spot there's my fake spot right and I'm gonna want to take that fake spot out so I'm gonna choose this the um, spot healing brush tool and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover that as you can see it goes over with a little funny black outline I release and voila it's gone you see there's a little blemish here it's probably a bolt actually well the bolt's gone die bolt die if, you know it could even wonder if we can take up some of these rocks even there you go for taking up the rocks it's wonderful wonderful tool if you've never used it some sort of weird house thing here. I wonder if we can get rid of that. Gone. I feel like one of those guys, you know, on the TV, kind of like 
We'll get rid of all of your dusts off your pots and pans. So there you go. So now the only thing is, if we come to the top here, you can see I've got a branch stuck in the, the top of my frame because I'm rubbish. And so if I want to get rid of it, now if I use the, um, whoops, if I use the brush uh, spot healing tool, let me do that. Now you can see it's got rid of it, but you'll notice that towards the edges of things, you'll, you can end up with, maybe because the brush size is quite small. Sometimes you can end up with like a black or a white mark from the edge of the photograph. I don't quite know why it happened. It's a slight cast there. Um, and this is a, like a big problem sometimes if you're trying to get things on the edge. Um, so there's another way of dealing with this. Um, and this, I think, is only in CS5. So what you need to do is you need to use your selection tool, which is this thing here, right? Which makes you a little selection area. What you need to do is just go around the area that you want to get rid of, which is that area there, and you need to press the delete button, just a normal delete. Now back in the day, it just used to only hold foreground, background, and a color, which is just these things down here, yeah? Now it's got something called content aware. So if you just click OK, it'll work out all of the things that are around it and get rid of it. And look, there's nothing there. There's no blemishes. There's no, It's completely the same. So there's a, a slight spot there. So we can get rid of that. Just press delete and press OK. And there you go. It's gone. Another one here. Delete. OK. And there it's gone. By the way, to get rid of your mask. Um, so once you once you do the, the selection, this is your mask, yeah? Um, to get rid of it, Command D or um, Control D. And that will get rid of it. So how powerful is it then? Okay, right, so we've got a tree here, but obviously we've got all these clouds. Now, if I wanted to do this with, a, with the clone tool, this is going to pick up all sorts of rubbish around the, around the screen. So we need to be very careful. So what we're going to do is, if we use the lasso tool to make a selection, we go right to the edge, and right down here, okay, and release. So now, as you can see, the selection tool has just gone to that one area. Let's actually put it in that mode. There you go, you can see it a lot easier now. So there you go, we've got it right to the edges of all of these. Now if we use content aware again, so here we go, we press delete. Make sure it's on content aware, click OK. Computer thinks about it for a little bit. Check it out, it's gone. It's completely gone. And look, we don't need islands. Like islands, pointless little things. gone look at it it's gone okay that bit's a bit rough i got to admit um but then you can go back in with your um your spot healing tool and take out anything that looks a little bit odd it'll work it all out um you know there's a few marks here we can get rid of those but you know the little marks and things like that now that is where i do think um that the brush, the, uh, what is that called? The clone stamp. That is where I think is actually better than anything else because then you can just choose the opacity down on it and you can go through and over everything and make sure that everything's okay. Anyway, that takes a bit of a while to go through. But look at that, we've just got rid of uh, an island, a tree, some spots, uh, and a tree in the corner. Uh, and some houses as well, and some rocks on the bottom. Isn't that amazing? So that's pretty cool. So, how good is Content Aware? How much can it take away? Well, Content Aware does have a habit of breaking. So, for example, I imagine that if I try and take out this whole section here, we don't need this. Look at this rubbish. We don't need that. Now, I bet you a ten that this is, will break. Thinks about it. Thinks about it. As you can see, it's actually duplicated something completely random. We've got a tree stuck in here, which is probably from here. It doesn't work. But if we have an object that is stuck on its own with a very simple background, it can do amazing things. 
So for example, here's my little uh, Tokyo Skytree um, HDR picture that I took. So let's say, oops, let's say I want to get rid of it and I just want clouds, for example. Again, I use my lasso tool. Um, obviously, you can. I'm probably going to use a pen tool for this because it's. I don't have a um, a pen, a graphics tablet, so I'm just going to do this by hand. And it doesn't need to be that accurate. It just needs to be rough. As you can see, the edges aren't so great. We're just going to go around it. I will probably do another video on um, the pen tool at some point because it's a really handy thing to, to learn uh, with Photoshop. And oh, I'm going to need my screen, aren't I? I'm going to make that into a selection. So the, you know you can you can use the selection tool and go around it. It's probably the easiest way to do it, but I've got one of those horrible Mac mouse things which tends to jump around. If you notice, my, my screen jumps around quite often. It's because of the mouse. So there we go, right? We've got this um, this thing and it's all selected. Do you think that this is going to be able... Do you think Photoshop is going to be able to take it out completely and replace it with clouds in the background? Let's see. So we hit delete to make sure it's on content aware. It's okay. And as you can see, it's struggling with it because it's a big picture. There's a lot of detail that needs to get rid of. Now, if the mask was decent enough, then it may be able to do a decent job of it. And check that out. It's gone. It's completely gone. Now, as you can see, there's um, a, a, a color cast here. Uh, as you see it around here, this where it's gone a little bit crazy where the mask was. Um, but on the whole I think that's pretty impressive they managed to get rid of all of that so if we then wanted to get rid of some of these you know kind of little harsh edges there's some weirdness going on here then as I said earlier the clone tool is probably the best one as you can see it's got the C still stuck in here from the last one so um, let's choose a bit of a bigger brush use your um, brackets keys to go up and down in size and we'll choose a selection from around about here, just a random area. And of course we're on opacity 25. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to paint it. We're just going to paint it roughly. I don't have a lot of time left. As you can see, Photoshop has picked up that area, dumped it here. Maybe we want to go back and, and move that around. This is a bit of a harsh edge. Cloud doesn't have that type of harsh edges, so we'll just kill that a little bit. Same again here. picking up areas from here click bring it over as you can see that now doesn't look like there was anything in that image before we started right so we've gone from that to that in a one minute job it's content aware ladies and gentlemen awesome stuff make sure you learn it because it's really important for your photographs not only to um to clean up kind of um, unwanted things but also you know sometimes you can use some of these tools to kind of soften people's faces and things like that especially the clone tool so there you go um check out our website we are on um pixelatedphotographer.com we've got lots of um, mailing lists and we're on facebook and uh, we've got a nice little community going on here um lots of forums and things like that and we show off people's pictures um which comes from oh, that's evil monkey stuff cool uh so that's kind of, you know that all comes from our Flickr pages so we're on Flickr, we're on twitter pixelated photo and um we've got lots of different assignments going on at the moment um at the moment we got one looking up we haven't got any um people oh you know, oh there you go as ball style has uh, chucked in his uh it's awesome that's a really good picture so yeah when you come to the the website we've got like these weekly um bi-weekly challenges and photo assignments so when you come on over and um we'll welcome you with open arms 
Thank you very much. I'll speak to you soon. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.